Hi everyone, so finally I'm back. Thank you for your comments, thank you for your support, and thank you for guys that joined me in the Patreon page where I post in a in a in a daily basis many unique content. So for new subscriber, so let me uh, introduce to you my platforms where I share my knowledge and my experience. So the first, the first platform is the, my YouTube channel, as you can see here, the electronics, the P basics, as you can see, where I have, I have many, many videos. As you can see here, I have about 238 videos. Okay. So thank you for all guys that trust me. We have so far. 27k subscribers so okay so here in my youtube channel as you can see if you go to videos you can find many useful videos as you can see so a uh, hardware videos uh, so really a very appreciated videos and very useful video where you can use to identify any problem you have in your laptop or in your motherboards. As you can see here, many, many videos. For example, here we have learned to diagnose laptop motherboard. Okay, so a lot of videos as you can see over here. So I invite the guys that not yet join me in my YouTube channel to join me. And of course, I guarantee for you that you will understand many things, okay? So as you can see, many videos. So tomorrow I will upload for you a very important video about how to diagnose the motherboard. Okay, do you see here we have laptop schematics, etc. So if we go, for example, here to playlists, as you can see, you will find, of course, hardware videos, power electronics studying, laptop hardware study and laptop schematics. Okay. And of course I have a website that I will put the link below as you can see here where I post many articles. Okay, for example, here we have to get in to know the different parts of your computer, a lot of articles. And of course here I have many of course sections we have the software section the electronics or tab we have hardware schematic analysis analysis this is a very important topics here we have the smartphone and windows so so for schematics analysis for example you will find many articles as you can see over here so let's see this article for example as you can see here we have how to check 3 volt, 5 volt circuit on a laptop motherboard with multimeter. Okay, you will find everything about 3 volt, 5 volt circuit as you can see over here. Okay, and of course, here I have a very important article that I invite you to see. Here we have the topics. So, here we have, as you can see, how to diagnose and repair a dead laptop motherboard. Okay, so here we're in this article. I discuss all these topics, as you can see. What is the dead motherboard? What is the cause of a dead laptop motherboard? How to check a laptop motherboard visually? without multimeter, how to diagnose a dead laptop motherboard, how to check for a short circuit in the motherboard, how to check motherboard ports and connectors, how to check laptop motherboard power jack serviceability, how to check motherboard power circuit and component serviceability, laptop motherboard chips and integrated circuit, how to check super input output IC, ISIO and edge circuit, how to check basic input output system IC, BIOS, how to test fuses using the, a digital multimeter, how to test inductors using a digital multimeter, how to test capacitors using a digital multimeter, how to test diode using a digital multimeter, how to test MOSFETs, ICs and motherboard chips using of course a digital multimeter. 
and of course how to check SMD component or surface mounting devices on a laptop motherboard how to check motherboard connector serviceability and much more how to use multimeter in the correct way and much more so in this article you will find all these topics as you can see this is a very important article that I, that I invite you to check this article of course where I will show you step by step how to diagnose and check the failures in the motherboard until you find the problem okay until you isolate the problem okay so always uh, in my study of electronics always i use schematics because the schematics make things easier for you using the schematic you and you can understand easily the process of repairing okay that's why i focus always in the schematics So I, ha I have here, as you can see, some comments for guys that that read the article. Here we have, as you can see, this guy. Thank you for this blog. It helps me a lot to understand the laptop motherboard troubleshooting. So you are very welcome. This is Imad. This is the second time I read it, and it's more valuable information. Thank you. So, dear sir, you are the greatest. Of all time, you are wonderful. Your teaching are accurately perfect in a real life problems. So thank you, etc. Okay, so I invite you please to read this article. This is a very important article. Okay, so then as you can see, you can of course join me in the Patreon page. So this is a very important place where you can, and of course you will understand and learn many many useful chunk in a daily basis here i share a unique information okay so this is electronic repair basics rp so here do here i create electronic repair laptop repair and troubleshooting videos and of course articles schematics etc so of course here we have you can choose your membership here of course you can join me as a support experience or learning experience so of course we have three memberships over here this is the very advanced and important membership membership where uh, as you can see here the mentorship experience this is limited basically okay and of course a post here a lot of unique content we have for example uh, so the schematic you can find here mini schematics we have the hp compact as you can see pavilion schematic okay so to unlock all the schematics you should join me of course as uh, the learning experience i have here many schematics of course main studies i study here the power of the motherboard how to trace the voltage so the, how to detect the the short circuit as you can see we have 8p mosfets so here we have all electron component names functions pictures etc we have 3 volt and 5 power rail understand laptop motherboard power sequence of course a post in a daily basis the schematic for many motherboards and laptops and of course here you can ask me if you need any schematic and i will upload it for you okay here we have testing 3 volt 5 volt power rail we have discover ramp power okay so many many unique content as you can see and of course laptop schematics so please if you want to join me in the patreon page you are very welcome okay and of course i invite you to join me in my youtube channel where of course i share a very useful content from tomorrow i will upload a video each day in a daily basis in my youtube channel and of course as i told you before for anyone who want to join me of course 
in my website you are very welcome